So many freelancers get a tremendous impression from the services they display, but they don't seem to get massive clicks or get hired by clients. Well, a lot of factors contribute to this, but in this video, we are going to focus on the major factor, which is creating a professional gig that speaks to your buyer's emotion. So if you're a full-time freelancer, you would love to entice and convince many clients who will pay you to handle their job, right? And unlike traditional marketing, these customers don't have to see you or your real previous project before trusting you to handle their projects, right? They only believe what you present to them. And this is why your profile and gigs should look convincing and promising to them. So if you create an impression that you're an expert in your field, you will definitely learn more jobs than your competitors. Now, the amazing thing about this video is it will show you how to create a professional gig or service to attract about 85% of your potential buyers. So stick around and please give this video a thumbs up. I always appreciate you for that. My name is Matt from Wiki Freelancing and I create money-making content of secret strategies to help you enjoy more streams of income with passively and working from home. So please click on the red subscribe button below if you have not subscribed yet. And if you have done that, I'm super proud of you. So let's get into the video right away. Now, it is important to clarify you that a gig is simply a service you offer. So it's not the same thing as your profile, even though it's an integral part of your freelancing profile. And then if you want me to cover a video on how to create an outstanding freelancing profile, please let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely do that for you. Now, the first step of creating a professional gig is composing a catchy, concise and promising title. So for your title to be catchy, it should grab and retain your buyer's attention and for it to be concise, it should not only incorporate but summarize all the vital keywords about the service. And lastly, for it to be uh, promising, it ought to stand out and interest the buyer. Now, let's quickly go over some samples of a perfect gig title. Um, let's say you're a WordPress developer. Your gig title can be, I will build a WordPress plugin for you. Um, this is a good title, but compare it with a title that reads, I will professionally build a WordPress plugin with custom features, right? Now, here you're not just informing your potential buyers that you can build a WordPress plugin for them, but you're also informing them that you can develop any custom features of their interest professionally. Or let's assume you are a graphic designer who loves to create logos, right? Um, your gig title can be, I will create a unique minimalist logo for your brand. Um, this way, your potential buyers will be interested in the quality unique since their businesses are special to them and they, um, so should the logo be, right? And if you want to target some more particular buyers, you can say something like, um, I will create a unique minimalist logo for your brand, for your fashion brand. I will create a catchy minimalist logo for your church. I will design a timeless logo for your school. I will design an outstanding logo for your website. Yeah, just with different niches, right? And this is the perfect strategy for beginner freelancers to stand out and appear on the search pages of particular buyers and even stand a higher chance to work with them. Again, your tags would also feature some relevant keywords according to your title. So for example, you can include fashion logos if your targeted niche is fashion, the same with church logos, school logos, website logos, and even more. And there are even more effective ways to compete with other sellers, especially if you're a beginner. And I will continue to share them in the upcoming videos. So do well to click on the red subscribe button below so you don't miss out on anything. All right, we have just discussed the first step, which is the title and how it should look. Now, the second step is to create eye-catchy images for your gig, right? Of course, you should know that the gig images is the first thing to be noticed on the search pages and they send thousands of messages to your potential buyers. Therefore, you should consider helping your potential buyers to click on your gig by designing and displaying fantastic images that best describes your service and all the things the buyer stands to benefit from it. Now, for your designed images to look professional, detailed, and um, welcoming, um, you should consider these five factors I've drafted. First, try to incorporate the title of your service into the design such that it is super easy to substantiate the exact service you offer at the first sight. 
And second, you don't have to use any off-putting or inappropriate color combination for your designs. For example, your test should stand out from the background, so you don't have to use dark tests on dark backgrounds. And even your font should be well formatted, bold, and also readable, right? The third is to ensure that your picture or related picture is on the design. You understand what I mean? And why doing that? Keep in mind that your picture should be of high quality and you should also look at the camera when taking the shot so that when your potential buyers scroll by, they will see that you are staring at them instead of looking away, right? And this psychologically sends a message to the buyer in your favor. Again, your picture needs to look professional from the perspective of how you dress to how you pose and even your facial expression. Now, the fourth is the size of your gig images. So ensure you design them just according to the platform specification, right? So if you don't design them with the exact size the platform specifies, the content of your images will probably cut off and this can confuse your buyer on the particular services you offer. And if you don't know the exact size, simply Google it in a second and you will find the result. And lastly, try to identify some striking features of your service, such as um, quick delivery, 100% accuracy, detailed feedback, unlimited revisions, and the, you know, other stuff, just depending on the type of service you offer. And also incorporate the logos that are related to what you do. For example, if you're offering WordPress plugin services, you can insert the logo of WordPress or any related logo. And if you're offering social media growth, you also have to display related logos, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all of that. All right, we have covered the title and the images. Now, the third step is to compose a persuasive description of your service. And I don't want you to be bothered about this because I will show you how to do that in a minute. Now, your service description is where you've got the freedom to convince the buyer that you are the best to handle their project. So, to create a perfect gig description, you would want to use your convincing skills to compel the buyer to start a gig with you. Now, let's see the structure of the important factors to consider when writing a perfect gig description. In the first paragraph, you have to welcome the buyer, introduce yourself briefly, and then create a first good impression that shows them that they are the right place. It's very important. Now, the second paragraph should cover the services you offer and, the, of course, how you go about it. Yeah, it is best to indicate how long you have been in the game and how long you have been helping individuals, different individuals and companies with your service and the positive ratings you record from your clients worldwide. Now, the next point is to outline the features that make you stand out from your competitors. Of course, there is always a cogent reason why a buyer would choose you instead of others. Now, these features may include the areas your service covers your responsiveness, um, the different formats you will deliver your project, and even a guarantee of 100% customer satisfaction. And in addition, you can also incorporate your portfolio's link or indicate your previous achievement and even notable companies you have worked for. All of this will convince your potential buyers that you are simply the best to handle their jobs. Um, after writing a clear description, it is important to politely encourage your potential buyers to contact you while reminding them that their project is in perfect hands with you. And the last thing is to include your closing salutation and your name, such as regards, smart, regards, and then your name. All right, you have done an amazing job, but do you know that one error can even make your buyer, one grammatical error can even make your buyer to change their mind? So it is pertinent to go over your entire description again to check if there are grammar, punctuation, or even spelling errors in it. And I bet you, you always find one. And I recommend doing this some days or some hours after writing your description. So you will be in that right state of mind to figure out the errors and then also fix them. And I've got a good news for you. Grammarly has made it spicy for you to identify and correct all your grammar, punctuation, spelling, and even structure errors in your description. So use the grammar link in the description below to make sure that your description stands out and has no single error. And don't worry about anything, it is totally free for you. And lest I forget, the price you set your services can also contribute to, you know, whether or not you will land the job. So this means that your pricing game can either induce or discourage your buyers. Therefore, I recommend you strike a balance between the up and down. So you set your prices somewhere between the high and low prices, especially if you're a beginner freelancer. And one more thing, some freelancing platforms such as Fiverr, 
you know allow you to create some questions some frequently asked questions and the answers about your gig so here you would want to introduce some important questions and clarify them accordingly you know in favor of your potential buyers all right i believe you've gotten a deluge of ideas from this video so please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel for more helpful videos to earn daily income especially from the comfort of your home and until the next video keep earning more income thank you